Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jeff here with Project Next. Doing something uh, today, a little different. Um, doing uh, changing the chainsaw, the, the chain on my uh, pole saw. Uh, I have a steel HT103 and um, just wore my chain out and uh, just time to replace it. So I thought I'd, I'd let bring you guys along here while I'm doing the change up. And there's a few tips that I've learned along the way and I thought I'd share with you guys. So uh, come on and let's uh, get this thing changed. <laughs> All right, so again, this is the HT-103, and uh, one of their kind of heavier end pole saws. Um, it's, it's, I say heavier, it's heavier duty, and it is physically heavier. Uh, it definitely taxes on my shoulders as I'm using it, but I don't mind. I kind of look at it as a workout, and uh, I love the fact that it has a uh, 12-foot reach, and uh, uh, it just really it's got so much horsepower so anyway one of the things I wanted to show you is when I go to change my uh, replace my chain a lot of times I can't remember which one it takes and so on the steel products if you look I don't know if you can read it real well but all the information on the chainsaw bar is right here so you can just take a picture of your make and model number and you can take a picture of that right there and go to pretty much any John Deere dealership. I think pretty much all of them are steel dealers, but there's still there's independent steel dealers around as well. And as long as you can show them those numbers, you are good to go and they can match it up for you. So anyway, let me get set up here and now we'll go ahead and start popping this off and getting the new one installed. All right, the last time that I cut with this, I was cutting a bunch of poison ivy vines. I even actually got some on my toe because I ain't got no sense and I wear sandals instead of boots. So I'm going to make sure I wear gloves while I'm taking this apart and as I'm cleaning it up because I don't want to get that poison oak oil on my skin. So anyway, let's tip this over. On this particular model, it's just one locking nut and it comes out like this. off get all of this off and get rid of that there we go and just kind of get the big stuff off here before I tear it down or pull this off rather and then this just lifts off and out it's a really good idea especially when you are servicing or changing your chain to go ahead and do a nice service and clean the main thing you want to make sure is that the the holes that feed for which are right here for your chain lubrication oil you want to make sure those are nice and clean and you want to make sure they're clean here as well because if the chainsaw can't get the old lubrication oil to the chain it will burn it up in a heartbeat And I don't know if you can see, but right here is the little hole on the chainsaw bar. And this is where the oil comes in, and this is how it's fed. The system feeds it. All right, so again, made a trip over, picked up my new chain. if you look you will see the teeth and you can see how the teeth go the sharp point to the that goes to the front and when it arcs it arcs over top so you want to make sure the sharp point is on top and it's facing away from that's how you know this goes on like so 
And before I take this out, I just want to spray a little lubrication on everything and then wipe it down one more time and just get it all nice and cleaned up good before I put it back together. Okay. Yeah, let's wipe her down. All right, we are good to go. So now double check. They are going to the front. And so we just slide her back on. Okay, once you get it in place, it'll fall down on the slot. And then, I think I'm gonna clean, yep, absolutely gonna clean all the grime out of this, just so you can, all of this, the oil can lubricate in all the places it needs to go. So all I'm doing is just cleaning all this out real good while I got it apart. It doesn't take an extra minute or so to do. Then she will spray in and take the old toothbrush and just give it a nice cleaning. And then just wipe it all down. Okay. Okay, before you snug it up, these right here come with the kit and they obviously have this fits this is all made to fit and do the do the functions. And then you want to tighten it back up. And I'm obviously, I went the wrong way there. Okay, that's good. And then you snug her down. Okay, and then turn it back up. And while we're still in cleanup mode, I'm just going to shoot some of this down real quick. Again, it's going to get back dirty almost immediately. But while it's here, take advantage of cleaning up all the cracks and the crevices. Just taking good care and good maintenance of your stuff. You pay enough for these things, you want them to last forever. Or as long as you can. And then I'm getting ready to go do some work. So I'm gonna go ahead and top off my oil levels. Right. With some bar oil here. We are ready to go cut some branches. Alrighty. I'll move everything around and we'll crank it real quick and do a quick test run. These units have a different kind of motor to them. They have so much torque. The best thing I love about them is they're so easy to crank. So you, you go full choke, do a few squirts of prime, and make sure everything's clear. Alright guys, well, everything's all cleaned, lubricated, 
Oil chambers is full, so we're ready to go cut some lambs. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was a little bit shorter video than I normally do, but I just happened to get ready to do this and said, huh, this might be really cool. Hope you and guys enjoy watching the little things like this as well. So anyway, that's all for now. Again, uh, if you enjoy, please be sure to like and share and subscribe. And um, got some other stuff coming up here real soon. So I'll uh, be back with you guys shortly later on to generate another video. Uh, we're going to actually be going out and helping my oldest son do some work. So talk to you guys again real soon. That's all for now. Thanks again so much for watching. And remember, with Project Next, there's always one more.